for him. Earlier in the competition, Mike Bridges, who is pound for pound the strongest oh, lifter in the world, scored a decisive now. victory in the 181-pound class. In powerlifting, the equipment they use is closely controlled. Here's Dave. Now, Mike, before you go out there, the judges have to inspect this equipment. What are they looking for? Okay, they're looking for measurements which are crucial. One-piece lifting suit, one color. And the most difficult thing is they don't want it to exceed more than 15 centimeters from the center to the end of the leg. In the knee bandage, we're looking at a 2 meter in length and not more than an 8 centimeter in width. The wrist bandage cannot exceed more than 8 centimeters in width and 1 meter in length. Our lifting shoe, we don't want a flared heel. There's no legal limitations to the height. Our power belt cannot exceed more than 10 centimeters in width and not more than 13 millimeters in thickness, with our buckle not exceeding more than 11 centimeters from inside to inside. This is what they're looking for. Thank you, Mike. Now it's time for the Giants, the super heavyweights, men over 275 pounds, and a fight shaping up between Great Britain, Australia, and the United States. Let's go back. Here is Britisher Andy Kerr, his third attempt at the squat at 771 pounds. It looks very smooth going down. He hitches there, but he still is able to drive the weight up and get a good lift. That's his maximum, Paul. So Andy Kerr made his squat at 771 pounds, 350 kilos. Then it's Australian, Ray Rigby. Boy, does he attack the bar. His third attempt, 826 pounds. Ray Rigby has had a bad hamstring. Dr. Ken Leisner has been working on that, but it didn't look like it helped today. Ray Rigby, a nurse in his home country of Australia, misses at 826, but did score at 804. Now, at 826 pounds, the strongest man in the world, Bill Kazmaier. Look at that face. He attacks the bar, too. Nice and strong. Walk it good. Set it off tight now. Tight. Tight. Sit. Sit. Yeah. Oh, he made it look easy, Paul. 75 kilos, 826 pounds for Kazmaier. A red light from one of the judges, but still the lift counts. Kazmaier, in recent weeks, has had injury problems. I've got a, a shoulder problem, and it was, I got it from squatting, from carrying too much weight on my back. And the problem with me is that I'm too big for the apparatus. I have a very difficult time. I've had that, had that problem since I started getting inside of the bar and putting the bar down my back. So with that problem, it just has limited my lifting. As far as the squat, I hold the other three world records. And the squat is 980 pounds, where I've done 925 because of those limiting factors. Bill Kazmaier, a gentleman and a giant among giants. This is his third attempt, 849 pounds. Good, good, good. Tight, tight. Oh, boy. He could have made 40 pounds more, Paul. Of course, in his career, Kazmaier has lifted much more weight in the squat. 849 pounds here. But look at him. There might be a problem with his right shoulder. That bar spans almost five feet in there where his hands are. Look how cramped he looks in there. That merely compounds the shoulder problem, and the bench press is coming up next. So Bill Kazmaier is a question mark, but he does lead over Ray Rigby and Andy Kerr. Dave Rowe, that competition is now complete. In the super heavyweights, the bench press. Let's look at some of the action. This is Great Britain's Andy Kerr. 518 pounds, 235 kilos. Lost it! Very, very easy, Paul. That left no problem at all for Andy Kerr, his second. And then the American, Bill Kazmaier. This is his third attempt. 235 kilos, 518 pounds. The same lift as Andy Kerr. Oh, you can see him favor his left shoulder there, Paul. And Kazmaier can't get it done. So he's in at 501 pounds, but his shoulder is apparently really bothering him. Oh, 
Here is Andy Kerr again. 529 pounds. Another very easy lift for Andy Kerr. And Andy Kerr has moved into second place and is beginning to catch up. It also appeared that Kaz was having problems with that shoulder. Now, as we move to the deadlift, this is where that injury just may tell. It certainly is, Paul. This is the real test to Kaz Meyer. The heavier weights are lifted here. Whether the shoulder will hold up or not, that's the question. Let's go back up to the platform. We're underway now in the ultimate test, the deadlift. Bill Kazmaier, his second attempt, 777 pounds. Looks very confident as he pulls. Oh, that was easy. Oh, wait a minute, he dropped the bar, Paul. He dropped the bar, two red lights, the lift does not count. Oh. He's very upset about that. You are not allowed to drop the bar in international competition from over four or five inches from the floor. And that's what he did right there. You got to go all the way down with it and put it on the floor. Coach Doyle Kennedy explains it to Cass. Well, he dropped the bar right at the end there, Paul. That's what disallowed the lift. That was the reason. So Bill Kazmaier, because he didn't maintain control, misses at 777 pounds. So here is Andy Kerr, 794 pounds. This would tie Kerr with Kazmaier. This is a very makeable lift for Andy Kerr. He's got it. He's solid all the way up and down. What? Andy Kerr, 794 pounds. He is now tied with Kazmaier for a total of 950 kilograms. Andy weighs less, so at the moment, Andy is in actuality winning this meet. Each man has one lift left. Kazmaier apparently with an injury problem. How does Andy Kerr assess it? But my best total is 982. And Bill's best is 1,100. Now this year he's only done 1,052, I believe. That's still 70 kilos more than me. But if he comes down, if he comes down towards 1,000 or just below, and he comes within my sight. So my goal is to maximize my performance so that if he slips up, well, I'll have him. Get it, man! So here's Bill Kazmaier, his third and last attempt. 22 more pounds on the bar than the attempt he just missed. And this is his last chance for a world championship here in Sweden. Oh, he makes her look easy. Oh, look how slow he's going down. Paul, look at this. going to drop it this time. And he looks over at the judges to make sure that they know that he knows he set it down perfectly. Watch again here. Very, very easy. But watch as he goes down. He's looking at the judges. Sets it on the floor. I would like to have that man look at you like that. The play now goes to Andy Kerr. He has one lift left. We'll be back. We're back in Sweden. As Andy Kerr readies himself, we take another look at Bill Kazmaier's last lift. Some say that he should retire, but what does Bill say? I don't know that I'll be lifting forever. Some of the fellows have, have been injury-free, and it feels a little better for the competition. Uh, I really, I go meet to meet. And this could be the last one. Maybe I'll keep going. Well, next up is a man who could speed up Bill Kazmaier's retirement. From Great Britain, Andy Kerr. This is his third and final attempt. His opportunity for victory, 848 pounds. If Andy's able to pull this weight, Paul, it'll be the largest weight that he's ever lifted in the deadlift. wants to beat Kazmaier bad. He's got it up! No, he's no! No, he can't do it. Bill Kazmaier wins the world championship. Andy Kerr cannot make his last deadlift. And that gives the meet to Kazmaier. Tell me about that last deadlift, Bill. Well, actually, it was pretty easy. I hold the world record at 886. I was just nursing my bad shoulder. Well, how was the shoulder? That played an important part. Yeah, I wasn't too sure there in the squat. I heard it snap on a second lift. I struggled through the bench press, but luckily I made it. Well, congratulations, world champ. 
As we look at Andy Kerr's last lift, there is a point of transition from leg muscles to back muscles. It's a sticking point, and Andy Kerr simply can't get past it with 848 pounds. So the world title in the super heavyweights goes to the United States, Bill Kazmaier. Great Britain's Andy Kerr is second. Australian Ray Rigby comes in in third. A powerful afternoon. Anaba of Japan, a tenth consecutive world championship, and he throws in a world record as well. And then Fred Hatfield, he waited 20 years for his world championship, and it comes here in a small Swedish town. A wily old veteran used experience and won a world championship, Paul. And then there's Kazmaier. He sets the weight down slowly with a smile, knowing it's a victory. A world champion year after year. He is truly the world's strongest man. So this is Paul Page with Dave Rowe. So long from Sweden. Now, let's go to Gary Gerald. made his squat at 771 pounds, 350 kilos. Then it's Australian, Ray Rigby. Boy, does he attack the bar. His third attempt, 826. Earlier in the competition, Mike Bridges, who is pound for pound the strongest lifter in the world, scored a decisive victory in the 181-pound class. In powerlifting, the equipment they use is closely controlled. Here's Dave. Now, Mike, before you go out there, the judges have to inspect this equipment. What are they looking for? Okay, they're looking for measurements which are crucial. One piece lifting suit, one color. And the most difficult thing is they don't want it to exceed more than 15 centimeters from the center to the end of the leg. In the knee bandage, we're looking at a two meter in length and not more than an eight centimeter in width. The wrist bandage cannot exceed more than eight centimeters in width and one meter in length. Our lifting shoe, we don't want a flared heel. There's no legal limitations to the height. Our power belt cannot exceed more than 10 centimeters in width and not more than 13 millimeters in thickness, with our buckle not exceeding more than 11 centimeters from inside to inside. This is what they're looking for. Thank you, Mike. Now it's time for the Giants, the super heavyweights, men over 275 pounds, and a fight shaping up between Great Britain, Australia, and the United States. Let's go back. Here is Britisher Andy Kerr, his third attempt at the squat at 771 pounds. It looks very smooth going down. He hitches there, but he 